a more inclusive way. The, but the point is, should we have been doing more? Uh, because d has it slipped away? Has, have the gains that we achieved just a couple of years ago slipped away under President Obama? Well, this is a very different threat that we're looking at today than we've seen before in Iraq. It's one that's been growing, certainly, but to compare it, uh, to a few years ago uh, just doesn't hold up in terms of what we've seen in the threat that we see today. So what we're focused how so? on... How so? How so? Because let me just refresh the viewers that mm -hmm. it was just in January that this group took over Fallujah and started flying the, the Al-Qaeda flag. And the president was asked about that, and he told New York Magazine, I think it was, I have it here, if we could put it on the board, he said, uh, hold on a second, I'll try to read it as they pop it up there. Uh, he talked about how they were JV, how just there it is. The analogy we use around here sometimes, and I think is accurate, is if a JV team puts on Lakers uniforms, that doesn't make them Kobe Bryant. Did he underestimate the threat? Not at all. Look, this is a threat we've been talking to the Iraqis and other partners in the region about for months. We talked about it just last November, before those comments you mentioned, with Prime Minister Maliki when he was here, and that's why we've been increasing support of munitions. We've then been increasing Obama support of them as JV. Well, it's a group that's changing. The, the terrorist threat changes, uh, quite frankly, on a week-by-week -week and month-by-month -month right, basis. And, that doesn't no, make sense. In January, they were JV, and now that we're in June, they're this devastating terror group that's basically <laughs> taken over Iraq. We have been very clear about the threat from ISIL for a long time, but we have seen them grow in strength, uh, mostly because...